Here we go. Let's talk about the ThinkPad X9 14 and 15 battery life and performance. Straight ahead. Hey guys, it's Alice from TechAris, and I'm back with, I think, my last video on the ThinkPad X9 series of laptops. I know a lot of people are excited for these laptops because they are new and uh, they are something different from Lenovo and the ThinkPad lineup. And they have gotten a lot of hate and a lot of love. And uh, so it's a mixed bag of reactions, I think, uh, for this laptop. But a lot of you have watched my other videos. I think I've done three, maybe four, I think three for sure, uh, videos on the ThinkPad X9, uh, 14 and 15. And uh, there are a few other questions and primarily the two questions were how was battery life and how was performance and i'm going to attempt to answer those questions today in this video i don't want to make it long because i've already made a lot of content on these two laptops and who knows in the future i might, might make more but right now i am pretty swamped with reviews i have a lot of things going on i just if you please go check the site techaris.com i've done a couple of tv reviews and a soundbar review and several other reviews and I have more TV reviews coming, as well as some more laptop reviews, uh, some monitor reviews, and uh, I just actually posted my OnePlus 13R review. So a lot of reviews I'm writing, so I've been a little bit uh, behind on videos, so apologies for that. Um, but uh, trying to do both of these jobs at the same time does get to be a chore. So let's get into the battery and performance experience that I had with both of these laptops, the ThinkPad X914 and the ThinkPad X915. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll um, the videos that I already, t I already took and just kind of roll that in the background and just kind of talk over that uh, as far as my, my experience goes. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into this now. I'm not even, not even gonna bother with a whole lot of talking right now. I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Let's talk about battery life. On the X914, X915 ThinkPads, these are the brand new models uh, from Lenovo that are not quite like a regular ThinkPad, mostly because the track point is missing out of the center of the keyboard. That's really the major difference in this design. But they are um, different um, configurations. I believe the ThinkPad X914 I had is the um, Ultra 5 and the ThinkPad 15 I have is the Ultra 7. Um, what I'll say is the battery life is obviously going to be different because smaller battery in the 14 at a 55 watt hour, I believe, and a bigger battery in the 15 at 80 watt hour. So battery, battery life is going to be a big, uh, there's, there's a big gap between the, the two results that I got on a daily use. Uh, they both are fantastic at standby, so I, I had them, I've had them sit there for three or four days and I come back with only like five, ten percent gone uh, on the battery. So it holds battery life really well on the standby. Uh, and that goes for both of them. What I found interesting though is on the X914, uh, a little bit different experience than from the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13, which is also a 14 inch Aura Edition laptop but that one that I used before that one had um, the core ultra 7 not the core ultra 5 um, but I found that I got better battery life out of that gen 13 by about two or three hours uh, compared to the ThinkPad X9 but the X9 you know and, and before I even go any further I want to say that battery life is very dependent on how you use your laptop the way you use your laptop is going to be very different on the way I use my laptop and the programs that you use, programs that I use, uh, and brightness, backlit keyboard, you know, how you have certain, how you have your battery uh, optimization set up. I just left it at balanced on both of these laptops. I never mess with that usually. Uh, I always just leave it on balance because the way I test things is just the way people, generally people are just gonna pull things out of, the, out of the box and just use it as is. They don't go into the settings and go into all that extra all the extra steps of optimizing anything. So you have to understand that, uh, well, you, hopefully you do understand that 
we all use things differently so our battery life is going to vary from person to person and experience to experience that said with the aura uh gen 13 uh x1 carbon uh 14 inch that i reviewed months ago that uh was a little bit better uh than the 14 x9 uh, by a couple hours so i was able to get uh, 13 to 14 hours out of the X9 uh, 14 uh, and that is general use that is just using uh, browsing email uh, word docs and Excel um, just the your basic kind of usage you know um, social media a lot of YouTube um, my back end of my website WordPress constant use of that uh, I, I work everything in dark mode I never hardly ever use light mode so everything's in dark mode. Um, and I also use uh, DaVinci Resolve and Affinity Photo are my two major heaviest programs that I use on these laptops. Um, also use KCM and Upscale and um, a few other programs that I use every once in a while uh, that are in there. Uh, also several different browsers. So that is kind of my use case and I was able to get uh, 13, 14 hours uh, you know, on average for the X9 14. As far as the X9 15, much better on battery life, much better. All the same parameters as the X14, but we're talking 16 to 18 hours of battery life on that. Um, and standby is just insane in that it, it just hardly drains when you just leave it sit there, uh, just on, in sleep mode and you just close the lid. Um, come back with only 5% gone, depending on how many days you leave it there, you know. I, I I tend to work from home, I mean, I work from home all the time, but I'm usually on my desktop for the most part. Uh, when I go places, I take my laptop with me and I work uh, on my laptop that way. Sometimes I want to get out of my office and I'll go to another room, so I use the laptop for that. But at, uh, for the most part, I'm on my, on my desktop. So when I do test these laptops, it's always when I'm gone. Um, and then they kind of sit here in the office unless I'm feeling like I just want to get my eyes off my screens here that are in front of me uh, and I want something different so then I'll grab my laptop but anyway I digress uh, the 15 definitely gave me better battery life you know 16 17 18 hours a little bit more than that uh, and in, with my general usage so that's important to note um, you you're going to be different. Everybody's going to be different. But my advice is to go read other reviews, watch other reviews, and just kind of get a gauge of what other people are doing and um, and how they how their battery life uh, experience has been. So um, as far as performance, let me jump over to the other video we have of the unboxing of the 15. All right. So as far as performance goes. I have no Lunar Lake chips have been running great for me uh, in what I use things for. Um, I gen I originally really liked the Microsoft Surface 7 laptop with the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor in it. I thought that did really well on performance and it did really well on battery life, especially. But <clears throat> because that was an ARM processor, there was just some some things that just didn't run as good or at all uh so you know i i decided to try the, the lunar lake and the into back go back to intel with the x64 architecture and that's been great um and it's it's on par with qualcomm uh, i believe that they are uh, competitive with each other and uh, with performance for me like i like i mentioned earlier the really the only major heavy loads I put on laptop are my video editing software and my photo editing software and that's even just um, using th that sparingly I, when, when I use my laptops I'll, I'll use them pretty heavily when I go places like CES and uh, MWC and IFA uh, because I, I that's what all I have to, to edit video on so that's what I use but um, I generally do video editing and photo editing on my desktop mostly because it has a bigger screen but I can definitely do 4k video editing with both of these laptops uh, it seems to run a little bit smoother and nicer on the 15 
and I like that anyway because it's a bigger display. Um, but, uh, and you know, I'm only running really one job at a time, one 4k job at a time. And they're generally smaller, um, edits. There's, it's not, I don't do as many edits because when I'm using them, uh, when I'm on, on the run, I'm trying to do things quickly as possible when I'm at home and I'm editing on my desktop, I can take a little more time and put more edit, more, more, more in the timeline than I would with a laptop. But that said, I can edit 4K video with this, with uh, the machine not skipping a beat. The fans do come on and they are audible. Uh, on the 15 is a little bit louder than the 14 as far as the fans go. Um, so that, it, but they are noticeable. The fans are noticeable when they go, do kick on. But for the most part, this machine's dead quiet and there's really no, nothing to worry about as far as noise goes, uh, unless you're running something heavy. Uh, doesn't get, to me, didn't feel like it got that warm when I'm running a 4K export, but it does get a little bit warm, uh, but it's not crazy. Not like, I mean, I've used laptops in the past that get so hot you can't, you can't hold them. Um, that's nothing like that here. I think Lunar Lake has, uh, I think Intel's done really well with Lunar Lake, Lunar Lake performance and Lunar Lake, uh, um, cooling. So I think it's, you know, this is a very efficient laptop. I don't know what your use case is. I don't know what you're, what you're looking for, for performance, but I do know that, uh, I've, I enjoyed my time with both of these laptops. The 15 is my favorite, uh, because battery life is better and the screen is bigger. The screen does have that bezel around it. We talked about that in earlier videos, but that doesn't bother me any. Um, the 14 does have the edge to edge glass, which is really nice looking and uh, looks a little bit better than the 15's bezel, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for a bigger display and um, just a better battery life, especially. So that's it. That's really it. I, I know there's probably a whole lot more questions uh, out there. I've been really busy trying to get things done. So I, I, again, I apologize to you guys for not getting to this video quicker. I wish I could have, but just been very busy. Thanks for your patience. Um, if you have any more questions, I will try to answer them in the comments. Feel free to ask them. Uh, in the meantime, uh, head over to MeWe.com. And if you're not a MeWe subscriber, not subscriber, but if you don't have a MeWe account, it's a social network out there that's uh, a little bit different than your than your Twitters and your X's and your Instagrams and Facebooks and uh, Blue Skies and everything. Uh, I have a tech community over there, so it is called Tech Union, and I also have my page for Tech Aris there. I'm trying to build a community over there for tech enthusiasts, and we're just talking tech. You know, go back to the good old days of just talking social in a social setting about tech, leaving politics out of it, leaving all that kind of stuff out of it. It's just tech. So make sure you join me over there, ask questions over there. Um, I will leave links down below to the Tech Aris page as well as to the Tech Union page and make sure you join up there. In the meantime, I really appreciate all that you guys have done. We hit 2,500 subscribers. I know um, maybe I'll look back on this video sometime in the future and say, wow, I was trying to get 2,500 subscribers and maybe I'll be at you know 250,000. I hope I, I can get there at some point. But um, to me, 2,500 subscribers is a huge goal hit and accomplished. Thanks to you guys. I appreciate you guys highly. Please share the channel. Please tell your friends about us. And um, yeah, hit the like button, uh, comment below, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all those things that we constantly ask you to do that YouTube likes you to do. And I do too. Uh, but the most important thing is make sure you take, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. And we will talk to you on the other side.